35 Bowman set break. Hey Derek, how you doing? Good to see you in the chat. So 55 Bowman, of course got your kind of TV, 50 style TV design. Lots of people love the set. Lots of people would rather leave it than take it, but man, it just reminds me of my uh, my grandparents' old TV that I used to sit and watch uh, watch TV with my with my grandmother growing up. But uh, I didn't grow up in the fifties, but my grandmother was the kind of kind of lady that. You buy uh, you buy a TV and uh, it's, you're gonna use it till it till it doesn't work anymore, and uh, that Joker never broke. Um. All right, so we'll get rolling here. 55 Bowman is a great set. So if it's your first time joining us, give you a quick rundown of how we do things. So we use random.org for all our randomization purposes. You can go to random.org, listen more list randomizer and so what we'll do is we've got 320 cards in the set we sold 319 spots and gave one away so every spot gets a card congrats to Pat Wigington for getting that free spot on social media giveaway and uh, so what we'll do is we'll we'll randomize this list of 320 names we'll paste it right here randomize it three times so it's nice and shuffled up then we will copy that randomized list, paste it right next to our checklist. So whoever's name comes out of the random in spot number one gets card number one, Hoyt Wilhelm. Whoever's name comes out number two gets Alvin Dark. Whoever's name comes out 202 gets Mickey Mantle. My Mick number two. So that's how that goes. Now we won't read through all 320 cards. I've picked out, oh, 30 or so hits here that we'll look at, as well as some fun, fun cards, uh, like the, some of the umpires, you know, depends on what you consider a hit, but, but they're pretty tough if you ever built this set, and uh, you don't have many umpire cards, so we'll look at some of those as well. And then I'll post, I'll sort the, sort our list by participant, post that list up on the website, email out a link to it, post it on social media, so you can see exactly which cards you get. Commons included. All right. Hey, Bob. Absolutely. Good luck to you, man. All right. So, without any further ado, we'll get to the random. All right. Got our list copied. Again, we'll randomize this three times. So here's random number one. Random number two. Random number three. All right, so it'll be this third time that sticks. these extra cells so we're lined up one to one all right I can make this a little bigger fiddling with that. So, let's roll. Spot number one, Hoyt Wilhelm. Next to Dustin Norton. So here's Wilhelm. Card number one in the break. Got our, some of our, some of our TVs have a lighter border. All the others, a little bit darker grain. Got a mick. Like 
like this design a lot myself. So, next hit we'll look at is number 10. Phil Rizzuto goes to Jeremy Mariquin. There is Scooter. Roy Campanella coming up next at card number 22. Goes to Jesse Ellis. PSA 5 on the Campy. Campy in his prime there in the Brooklyn Dodgers. And next card is our next hit. Next card in order, number 23. Al Kaline goes to Joey Plumley again. PSA five on Kaline. As far as condition goes on this set, it's uh, not the most consistent. There's probably a couple of dozen cards that are real worse for the wear, but then there's some really beautiful, really really beautiful examples. Um, Kaline, Campanella. You see some of the umpire cards we've got graded are uh, fives and sixes as well. So. Some some really, really classy cards. Um, Nelly Fox coming in at number 33. Just a Derek Peaster. There you go, Derek. Of course, this is Bowman's uh, last set as an independent company. Tops bought out Bowman. This was their last release. Tops, you know, took up using the Bowman name again in uh, the late 80s. So, Pee Wee Reese comes in at 37. Just a Jeffrey Gone. Another hit there for you, Jeffrey, with early win. Coming in at card number 38. And Whitey Ford. He's number 59, I believe. Just a Randy Jones. And Enos Slaughter, number 60, goes to Jeffrey Carlson. Got Don Larson up next, 67, goes to Paul Ron. Got uh, Lou Boudreaux. Eighty-nine. So Fred Anderson. Now this is one of my favorite Ed Matthews cards. Ed takes us over card number one hundred, so he's at one o three. Goes to Rich Anton. SGC six on the Ed. Bold colors. We got Richie Ashburn coming in. Oh, that's one of the keys. Yeah, that's the third key. Goes to Sammy Scoggin. Bob Feller. at 134. That goes to Paul Ron. So second hit there for you, Paul. There's Bob. Don Newcomb. 143. 
Thanks to Derek Feaster. Hello again, Derek. Some print lines on that one, but again, love the color. Gil Hodges coming in at 158. Thanks to Jeffrey Gone. Scalron at 160 goes to Carol Parsons. Scout show the scout run there for you Yankee fans. Speaking of Yankees, we got Yogi Berra at 168. Mr. Joseph Cerullo. Robin Roberts, he's one of those that uh, is a little worse for the wear, as you can see. Thanks to Derek Feaster. So Derek, another another Hall of Famer there for you. Aaron comes in at 179. Thanks to Dustin Norton. Again, I think it's that darker wood grain with a little bit of hint of red in it that just plays off the Braves uniform because I love the Aaron and the Matthews in this set. We got Willie Mays at 184. Thanks to Derek Peaster. Derek, dude, you're killing it tonight, man. Killing it. SGC 5 on the Mays. Classy, classy card. All right. We got Lemon, 191, goes to Joseph Sorullo. And George Kell, at 213, goes to Matthew Heidel. And 232. Tebbets goes to Carol Parsons. And there are some uh, some interesting little errors like throughout. I actually didn't check these to see if any of them were the error variations. So make sure you do that if you get one of them. Um, but some misspelled names and such they got corrected along the way, and some of those carry a premium. All right, Ernie Banks, PSA 5, goes to Jeffrey Gone. Nice break for you as well, Jeffrey. Nice hit on the Banks, PSA 5. Hank Bauer goes to Angelo Torreo. Hank Bauer, he's also a PSA 5. Nice example. Ever, ever tried grading any of these? Those corners are what, what knock it down, or the edges on this wood grain show wear really easily. Like if that's a white border, it doesn't show up near as bad, and this probably ends up as a six. It's a really nice card. Um, here's another one of the nicer, nicer cards. Speaking of sixes, this is a six. One of those that in in another set you probably end up with a seven because man that's just a little bit of wear on that bottom left corner but but Jim Lemon 262 is PSA six goes to Greg Ritzer actually uh, quite a few graded commons in this set most of those are are fives and sixes. All right, here's where our first umpire card. Barlick goes to Jeffrey Gone. If you've ever tried to build this set, some of these umpire cards are really tough. Um, arguably because if you're a kid in 1955 and you open a pack of baseball cards and get an umpire, you're kind of ticked off and you, you just toss it. All right. 267. Jim Hanochich 
no idea how to say, say these guys' names. But another umpire here. This one's an SGC 5.5. Looks a little surprised to be on a call. Oh, me? Neil, he's uh, 278. Rich Anton, like that. Neil, and we've got Phil Cavaretta goes to John St. Martin. Whoops. Cavaretta win. I guess I just misread that. Okay, yeah, 283. Uh, so, Chilak, umpire, goes to David Garrick for Nicole Cavaretta. Chilak, off center pretty severely to the left, but. Man, these umpire cards are just bizarre. Love it. All right. Gorman. Gorman's 293, J.R. Scobie. And uh, you don't care for the umpire cards, folks. Don't just throw them in your common box because they're not just an anomaly. They are pretty collectible for those of us who are set builders out there. Got to wrap up the break here with a few more hits, a few more graded cards, a few more umpires. Warnicky goes to Mark Witkowski. PSA 5. And we've got England at 301. Paul Ron. I didn't show the mantle. So I don't know if y'all noticed it when I glanced over him earlier, but uh he's he's just hiding out down here. We're gonna we're gonna circle back and look at him last, so I kinda scrolled over him last, but we'll look at him as our last card in the break. Serve goes to Joseph Cerullo. Conlon is 303, so he's out of order too. So John St. Martin. Nellie's 307. Michael Swafford. He looks. Very serious. Very serious. Al Lopez, manager card. Goes to Charles Bailey. Al Dixon. Goes to Jeffrey Gone. PSA 6 on this umpire card. Again, really, really nice example. They just, these wood, board, wood grained borders just really show the show any little minor wear. Donatelli's 313. One of the tougher ones goes to Angelo Torreo. PSA 4 on him. And uh, Hubbard is the manager of the umpires. PSA 4 on the 315. Yeah, like book value I think on Hubbard's like 80 bucks, which is crazy for an umpire, but kind of reflects how tough they are. And then, uh, last card in the set. Good old George. I want to say George's last name. Suki. Goes to Charles Bailey. All right, now, we skipped over Mr. Mick. If, uh, Picking a 50s mantle on a budget. I think it'll be 
Nine Bowman's your best bang for your buck. This one here is a two and a half at, at PSA. And the underrated card, in my opinion. No 55 tops, so Mick goes to Joseph Ceruyo. Nice hit for you, Joseph. Nice break, everybody. Man, love, love flipping through these vintage cards. Hope that, uh, hope that I can remind you all of simpler times, just the joy of being a kid, collecting cards, and uh, hope you all stay safe out there. Look for these to get sorted and shipped out over the next couple of days, and uh, have another set break going up middle of the week this time, so bump it up a couple of days, and uh, we'll squeeze out a couple extra ones, so should be good fun, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for buying in. This is Burl, signing off.